Welcome to this hot question video in association with Shop4 Electrical, quality branded products at discounted prices, your 24 hour online trade counter. Now today's question has come in from Ed Price and his question is, what is the difference between a microwave sensor and an infrared sensor? Well, first of all, when we're talking about infrared sensors, we're talking about PIRs, which stands for passive infrared. And the passive in there is important because it means that the device sits there waiting to be triggered. It consists of a grid of heat detecting sensors and when heat moves from one sensor to another, it sees that as movement of a body and triggers the connected lighting. A microwave detector works very differently because it's an active device. In other words, it sends out a microwave pulse and then analyzes the reflected pulse. If the reflected pulse comes back quicker than it did a moment before, then something must have moved into the detection field and the detector will trigger the connected lighting circuit. But what's the difference in practical terms? While well, microwave sensors tend to be a bit more sensitive, which is good for some applications, however, they also have a tendency to sometimes see through walls, which can trigger lighting when it isn't required. But this does also lend the technology another advantage because it can be mounted behind the diffuser of a light fitting and detect motion through the diffuser. And this means that you don't have to cut a hole in the diffuser and then get around the problem of maintaining the IP rating. So Ed, we hope that this has answered your question. As you know, each hot question we answer wins a pot of chili jam. So enjoy that, that'll be winging its way towards you. And I'll be picking another question from our YouTube comments to answer tomorrow. So head over to the channel and see if any of our lockdown live feed videos trigger a question for you. All that remains to be said is, thank you very much for watching.